Hi everyone, this is Yao Yun Zhang. Thanks for joining our presentation. We are glad to share some preliminary work on cross-language terminology mapping between ICD-10CN and SNOMAD CT. First, a very brief introduction. The RTC standard vocabularies are foundational terminology and ontology resources to enable consistent coding and query of clinical data across different observational databases. There are more than 100 vocabularies representing different domains of clinical data and multiple languages, working together to harmonize clinical content behind the Odyssey information model. The ICD-10CM and SNMCT are two most commonly used vocabularies for diagnosis and clinical findings. ICD-10CN is the Chinese version of ICD-10CM, which is also adopted by the Odyssey vocabulary system. There are more than 100 vocabularies representing different domains of clinical data and multiple languages, working together to harmonize clinical content behind the Odyssey information model. The ICD-10CM and SNMCT are two most commonly used vocabularies for diagnosis and clinical findings. ICD-10CN is the Chinese version of ICD-10CM, which is also adopted by the Odyssey vocabulary system. In order to promote diagnosis term interoperation and support the Odyssey community attending cross-country large-scale clinical studies, this work took the initiative to map concepts between ICD-10-CN and SNOMAD-CT. However, the mapping between ICD-10-CN and SNOMAD-CT poses significant challenges due to the structure and the semantic differences between these two terminologies. The ICD-10CN includes the basic four-digit code concepts, which could be conveniently mapped to the ICD-10CM and the SMCT. However, it also contains another set of four-digit code that were created uniquely inside the clinical uh, Chinese clinical settings, and currently there is no existing mapping between this set and other terminologies. Let's look at some details of the ICD-10CN. This table shows some examples of the four-digit code, six-digit code concept, and the grouping concept. A hybrid method was proposed to resolve this problem, including reusing existing mappings and building term similarity models for automatic mapping and many review. First of all, we can reuse the existing mappings for the four-digit code between ICD-10-CN and ICD-10-CM so that to reuse the previously established mapping results between SNMCT code and the ICD-10CM code. Next, we can build the narrow to broad mapping for the six-digit code by bridging through concept hierarchies, which means if the six-digit code has a parent four-digit code, as in the ICD-10 concept, then it can be mapped to the corresponding SNOMAD CT concept by transiting this relations. Exact the match between the six-digit code in ICD-10 and the SNOMAD CT concepts. We build an automatic mapping model using the term similarity. For this, the six-digit code concept in ICD-10-CN were first translated into English, and then we manually reviewed them and annotated the relations. 
In total, 1,172 concepts were annotated. Among them, 42.41% has exact match in SMAT CT. Next, we build a ranking-based classification model to decide if there is one exact mapping and which SMAT CT code should be chosen. For this, we first set up a threshold of semantic similarity. If the similarity between ICD-10 and the SMAT CT code is lower than this threshold, then there is no mapping between them. Or else, the SMAT CT concept with the highest similarity will be chosen as the exact match. For evaluation, several methods were compared. The first is to use the BM25 information retrieval model to find the top 10 candidate SMAT CT concepts. The second is to find if there is synonym relations between ICD-10 and SMAT CT inside Eumulus. The third is fine-tuning several variations of pre-trained language models based on BERT. Four BERT-based language models were fine-tuned, including the models pre-trained on open text, fine-tuned on biomedical text, clinical text, and one built from scratch from the biomedical text. Precision recall and F measure were used as the evaluation criteria. Performances of the multiple models for automatic mapping were shown in Table 3. The top 10 candidate terms returned by BM25 obtained the highest recall and a precision at 10 of 0.424. On the other hand, exact match to humorless synonyms obtained the highest precision and a much lower recall of 0.614. Among the four pre-trained language models, fine-tuning PubMed BERT achieved the highest F-score of 0.814. Therefore, in later work, a pipeline could be formed by using the Eumolus synonym method first to produce accurate mappings and then apply the BM25 to search the candidate followed by the PubMed BERT model to match the rest terms and ended by manual review. A summary of the mappings between these two terminologies is also shown in Table 4. The 1,615 codes represent group names of terms, which cannot find any appropriate SNOMAS CT concepts. For detailed performance analysis, we checked the percentage of words in the annotated corpus covered by the vocabulary of each language model. The coverage is shown in Figure 2. PubMed BERT was trained from scratch using biomedical literature. Therefore, its vocabulary coverage was much higher than the other models, which are built by fine-tuning the BERT model trained on the open text. PubMed BERT achieved the best performance here. Further increase in the vocabulary coverage may lead to performance improvements in the future. One challenge of this study is that it is difficult to use a single threshold of semantic similarity to distinguish between partially matched terms and semantically equivalent terms. 
detailed domain knowledge will be integrated into the deep learning models to resolve this problem. In addition, it does not always have a one-to-one -one correspondence between ICD-10CN code and the SNOMAD CT code. Therefore, post-coordination will be carried out in the future. Besides, we will also extend our work to ICD-11CN in the next step. In conclusion, this study introduces the preliminary mapping results from ICD-10CN to STOMAC-CT in order to bridge the gap between Chinese and English diagnostic concepts and further support efficient and reproducible observational research globally. The results of this study will be made publicly available through the Odyssey vocabulary system, enabling researchers and multiple healthcare partners to play a role in the future. We would like to express our great acknowledgement to the Odyssey community, Odyssey APEC, and Odyssey China Working Group to support this study. That's all. Thanks. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us through emails.